And this is why we say there will be verses in the Quran that sometimes people may not understand. They are verses of ahkam. They are verses of rules and regulations. You know, a, a young boy came to me and I was so touched because it proved that he reads the Quran. He says, I read in the Quran that it's okay to drink, to drink alcohol. And I'm, I know it's haram because I'm a Muslim. So can you explain to me what's going on? Look at the wording, beautiful wording. Look, a young boy words it so respectfully because he says, I know it's haram. I know I'm not allowed and I know alcohol is abomination. But how come there's a verse of the Quran which says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu la taqrabu salata wa antum sukara hatta ta'lamu hatta ta'lamu ma taqulun. Oh, you who believe, do not come close to salah and if you are in an in intoxicated state until you are sane and you know what you are saying. Subhanallah. So I said, that actually is not allowing or permitting drinking. It was only dealing with a certain stage. Alcohol has been prohibited in four stages. And then I explained to him how that initially the, you know, the, the people were involved in alcohol and intoxicants in a very big way. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created a hatred in the hearts of the believers for this item. And when the hatred was in, he cut, he cut it completely and he says, فَهَلْ أَنْتُمْ مُنْتَهُونَ The next, the verse came later on, uh, in Medina Munawwara, where it was totally prohibited. And what did the Sahaba radiallahu anhum do? The few of them who were still involved, they had immediately spat it out. They dropped it out. And it is reported that the gullies and alleys of Medina were flowing because everybody got rid of whatever they had immediately. So he understood it. He says, oh, mashallah, at least now I know what's going on. And that's a gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But there comes other people who say, I disagree with this and disagree with that. Why do you call yourself a Muslim if you want to disagree? Muslim is the one who has surrendered. It's the word of Allah. And trust me, those who have read the other books, the testaments and everything else that is in existence in terms of spiritual directories, you will find that the Quran is on a league of its own, completely of its own. There is nothing that can compete with the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from those who dedicate our lives to the Quran and the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu My brothers and sisters, promise yourselves and promise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not a day will pass without us having something to do with the Quran. Read it, understand it, read its meaning, even if it means one single verse. Talk about it, speak to others, go to work and say, today I read this verse, this is what it is. You are adopting the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. ayah. Convey from me, even if it means a single verse, a small amount, but convey it. May Allah subhanahu Subhanahu wa ta'ala use me to do that and use every one of you to do that. Jazakumullahu khaira wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. Subhanallah bihamdihi, subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.